First thing we're going to unbox today is the StarTech vertical cable managers uh, for, for both racks. We're going to put one on each rack on the outside to manage the vertical cabling. And the vertical cable management is important when you're feeding cables between your rack units, your gear, especially fiber. You want to protect all of your patch cords as much as possible. And this is an essential piece of a rack in order to do that. Thing with vertical cable managers is oftentimes there's a proprietary, uh, you know, organizer style. It's not standardized as the horizontal rack units for mounting. So in this case, we have these pegs that will line up with the holes on, on the racks themselves and uh, split into two parts. As part of the cable managers, you have access points to feed into the vertical from the horizontal and then up or down up or along down, the nice. rack. Yeah, so that's all you need really, just something solid. And next thing we're opening up today is our shipment from uh, fs.com. All right, so what do we got here? For the cross connects from the outside plant rack to the inside plant rack is on the rear of the racks. And we'll show you that cabling in another video. Uh, but then on the inside plant rack, we're actually going to be creating circuits by assembling the different spools on the outside plant rack uh, together. In order to do that, I got very short SCAPC cables to just cross connect within that same rack unit patch, uh, you know, um, patch panel. Half a meter is the shortest I could find. If anybody has any idea where we can find even shorter <laughs> SCAPCs, let me know in the comments below, but otherwise we'll get started with this. And uh, so we've got 12, uh, 12 patch cords for the, the 12, um, the first 12 fiber strands that we're bringing in from the OSP rack and uh, from six spools. And we'll be able to cross connect those six spools. 13.8 uh, kilometers worth of uh, plant Ooh, uh, for the first phase. So excited about that. We're already, we're already one third of, of the space on the, on the OSP rack uh, will be, be installed for this, for this first phase here. So very exciting. So yeah, so that's what these are for, the cross connects. We've got mostly cable management, but uh, we got the, uh, uh, they call it the FHD. Um, it's, it's not an LGX. Uh, it's, it's kind of a, a FS.com proprietary uh, fiber high density FHD fiber adapter panel. This is the SCAPC. And this is usually what we use in telecom when you're doing outside plant interconnects, you know, into the inside plant. Um, so for everywhere that we have uh, the OSP stuff, it's going to be SCAPC based connectivity. That's the way that we do it in the field. That's the way we do it in the lab. We'll be talking a lot more about that and why in <laughs> upcoming videos. But yeah, so this will be uh, connected to the patch cords for, uh, for that. So I also got some of these smaller vertical cable managers here. This is a 1U vertical cable manager. I figured uh, until we get the second uh, full uh, StarTech vertical cable manager, we'll try these out on the inside plant side because we only have a few patches that we're going to be planning on running right now. So I got a bunch of these, help clean up the inside plant rack a little bit and you know keep things nice and clean as we grow, grow the rack. So those are, those are good. And then the other thing we got are the horizontal cable managers, one rack unit. Uh, these are just uh, some very basic uh, uh, horizontal uh, cable managers. And um, we're going to be putting all of the cable management in place on the OSP rack now. So that all we have to do is insert our spools. We've got complete cable management in that rack, especially in that rack. We want to protect that and basically set it and forget it. Uh, so we want it to be fully outfitted. So yeah, so that's, uh, that's what else we got. So um, I guess we can open up one real quick here. Yeah. And then I'm gonna pass it off to Irving so he can get started on racking and stacking. Gotta rack it and stack it, man. All right, so we got those. 
So yeah, so this is just, uh, now oftentimes with cable managers, uh, they'll be met metallic. So the, the, uh, the StarTech uh, vertical cable managers, you know, it's a nice solid steel based, but uh, I'm gonna try out these plastic uh, horizontal managers. See how durable they are. They got pretty good reviews. So there you go. It's got nice uh, finger channel access. Yeah. I believe. Oh. Okay. So that's... Is that like a swing? Swing? Yeah. Cover? It's 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 actually a reversible swing, so you can swing it down or, or you can it swing up. it up. So it just depends on how you want to connect it. Uh, so once again, just give it more versatility depending on design and deployment. The layout. It's always good to have as much flexibility as you can in your racks. Um, so yeah, so that's, you know, it's nice and durable. I think this will do fine. Again, this rack is not going to be touched much once it's put in place. So I figured that we could be a little more economical with that and uh, try these out. So yeah, so I'm excited. Let's, let's, let's start racking. All right, everybody, today, uh, well, we're going to be finishing up the cable management setup for our home lab because regardless of whatever home lab you have, cable management should be one of your priorities because we know dang well one little bent kink, whatever it may be, could take down the whole system. So you have to make sure that everything's secure, everything's safe and protected no matter what you do. So the first thing we're going to be doing is adding this vertical cable manager. Now, it's a very simple install. You can see here on the rack, it has these notch openings that you will find right on the cable manager. All you would have to do is slide that notch within and then push down to secure it. So we're gonna be doing that now. I'm gonna place it at the topmost spot. Make sure that's in, make sure the bottom one is aligned and then just push down. Nice and secure. So we're going to be adding the second one to it. Always make sure and inspect that no cables are in the way before you install anything. Once more, first notch in. Aligned with the second and push down. And there we have it. Now that's, these are the two vertical managers that are completely installed at this point, just without the cover. Uh, and we're slowly going to start bringing in our patch cables into the vertical manager. So now the reason I'm not separating them all completely now is that I'm actually taking off the horizontal cable managers um, and adding the new ones that we saw in the unboxing video. Now the neat part about this is that the way the bare fiber reels are connected, uh, they're spliced into pigtailed SE APC pigtails and then connectorized through the SE APC adapters here very short they're secure they're sitting within this cable manager here so we'd have to be very careful to uh, disconnect them and then uninstall and then reinstall the new one so I'm going to be doing that just want to make sure that this is held in place and not everywhere while I'm trying to do this so I don't lose sight of which fiber or patch cord I'm working on uh, we're going to be doing one at a time at least to pulling this all the way through so we're not getting confused or getting any kinks or bends or twists. So let's actually head to the back of the rack here, give you a better view. See this bare fiber, lighting's a little harder to see, but SE APC connectors and all you'd have to do is very simple and there we are. Now these, oh, use your PC. We got some UPC to APC. Sometimes when you buy these spools, they come pre-terminated. Sometimes you can specify what type of connector you're going to get. Other times, you know, you take what you can get, especially if you're on eBay or something like that. So in these cases, you just use the coupler. Uh, actually, it doesn't matter what type of color the coupler is. It's, it's still going to be uh, compatible. But you just want to make sure that the other patch cord transitions back to the connector type, in this case, an APC that you really want. Alrighty, we're just gonna be sliding these on through. Oh, still to be one up here. Here we are, that 
one in the front. All right. And then whenever you pull cables out, you want to make sure you have a visual on both sides, both ends. As you possibly can. Okay. So seeing all of those, we're just going to hang these here temporarily. It's already managing cable the way it should. <laughs> all right. The thing we're going to do is uninstall. Okay, make sure there's nothing else inside. One flying off of there. I want to make sure. Dealing with the bare fiber, you want to make sure nothing hits it. <laughs> That's right. And there we have it. All right. Now. What I am installing is the horizontal cable manager that Aaron uh, unboxed in the earlier video. Here we're just going to be replacing the existing cable manager with this one. So make sure it lines up to where you want it to be. Okay. Grab the little petri dish. Oh, it's magnetic. Aaron always has a tool for something. <laughs> Thank you, sir. All right. Now that I got two screws in just for stability, you can see how that looks already. Pretty solid. Dude, this is really nice. Cool. I want to see now if I did it at the bottom, that's how it'll look. That is pretty darn slick. So now we're going to be taking the patch cords that we had here and rerunning them. All right, these first two. I know they're I know they're different lengths and stuff, so yeah. Yeah, just on the bare fiber side. Just fish, fish those to the back through the first slot. So the two. These two are for this one. A3. Always label your <laughs> always label your patch cords and anything that you have here. Documentation is key. Documentation is key. So A3, so this is A3 spool. Uh, so we want A1, A11 and A1.2. I'm gonna pull these over and these are gonna get fished through this first slot here. Since the third spool is here, these will be fished through the second slot. All right, and we'll easily just close that. And look at that. It's already coming together. You have to clean every time you unplug it or plug it back in, you have to clean the ferrule and the adapter piece. The simple fact that dust and dirt is one of the leading causes of fiber outages and downs. <laughs> uh, you know, it's, it's a good thing to get into the habit of uh, any install, anything that you do, you want to make sure that it's completely 100% uh, good to go by the time you leave. So what you want to do is take the tip of the ferrule into your cleaner and give it a nice gentle push. Once you hear that ripping sound, you know it did its job. Now you connect it one more time. Now they do have fiber, mi fiber microscopes that you can use to view the ferrule end, ooh. 
Yes, the Pharaoh didn't want to let it go this time. <laughs> <laughs> to view the Pharaoh land for any damages, cracks, dust, dirt, or any other obstructions that might affect your fiber optic cable. So, slight mishap happened. We forgot to label the patch side of these two UPC adapters. So, quick solution so you're not running around everywhere. If you can identify the labeling on the patch panel side or the connective side, all you have to do, grab your visual fault locator, plug it in, make sure that it's powered on and don't look straight into it. <laughs> but you can see that we can verify the red light on the one side and quickly identifies the path that we need to make it work. bare butt glance at what we have here. And you can see, as long as it's not covered, properly fed through the back. No. Alignment for this is a little spooky. I'm just gonna be on the top half. And let it clip. And there goes our first horizontal cable manager flowing into our vertical cable management back into the patches. All right, now let's move on to the next one. So complete vertical cable manager is now installed, at least on the OSP side. Yeah. Uh, we got one, two, three, three more. Yep, three more horizontal cable managers to install. And then we'll be ready to show you the full picture. So now we just finished installing the last horizontal cable manager. We also put in place the vertical cable managers. We also had to run, rerun a few of these uh, patch cords to fit into the horizontal cable managers and then even did some 
visual fault location testing to make sure that we had the right patch cords per the right fiber spool. So our OSP rack is now not fully set up because we're still missing our bare fiber, but as far as the cable managers and the prep, time, uh, prep setup, it is good to go. I really like the FHD adapter panels. Out of, out of all adapter panels that I have used so far in my career, they seem to be the most sturdy, most durable. Um, one of the biggest issues I have with uh, fiber panel adapters, it's how loose the actual adapter sits within the chassis of the, the FDH, uh, FDH panel or LGX panels. So we got a little bit of room to wiggle with little playroom, but that's solid. That's not too bad. As you're working with it, you need a little play so things don't break. A lot of the other ones, it's, it's a lot more play, a lot looser. Um, sometimes the adapters don't click appropriately. So this is definitely a recommendation, at least from my side. Since we're done with the cable management side, we're actually going to be adding uh, FDX1 panel. We got to replace the current panel that's in here. Where are we placing it up here? Yep. All right. Want to be placing this one here, so you want to push. Hold on, first I want to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's the way they're broken out. Pop in and then pop. All right. Well, I probably should have taken the back off first. <laughs> oh. It gets a little more difficult to take that yes. this stuff there off you once you get to the actual installment piece. So right now we have eight fibers. So we're going to open up eight of the ports, one through eight. Why are you doing that before you put it in? It just, it's a little easier to manage your, uh, your adapters and the um, SCA, uh, SCAPC connectors or the ferro connectors when you're messing with the backside of a patch panel. Anytime that you're dealing with the backside, if you don't have the appropriate tools, I'm pretty sure you do, uh, to, you know, to either disconnect or connect certain, uh, con you know, pigtail connections or fiber connections. If you don't have that tool, then you'll probably be using your fingers a majority of the time. And at least for me, trying to pinch these things off from a distance where not, you don't have a lot of visibility does not become the best practice. <laughs> so. The fact that you're able to take these off to help you with install and the second part is you got to make sure you clean them before you do anything else. So this, it's not the tip, but you got to clean the hole. So I have six open here. We're going to be taking two more, seven and eight, cleaning those. And now that they are cleaned, it's time to install it. Popped in nice and solid. You can see just how nice it looks with the LC UPC adapter. All right, so what we're doing here, we're just transferring the fiber terminations that were on the other fiber patch panel to the FDH fiber store one. Right now I'm having some trouble with Velcro, but that is done. So we're, we've identified one and two on this end and we're going to transfer this one over to one and two on the back end of the new FDH panel. First we want to clean the tip. Tips are clean, time to plug and play. All right, fibers one and two are installed. Okay, so we just got the first two fibers installed on the new FDH fiber patch panel. We're running to fibers three and four now.
And now all eight fibers are now fully transferred to the FDH fiber patch pad. All completely cable managed. Giving the home lab a nice cleaner, neater, and a more professional one. All right, thank you guys so much for tuning in to our finalization of our home lab video. Just a quick review of what we did. Today, we added vertical cable managers, horizontal cable managers. We had to reroute all of the patch cords so they are symmetric to each other, as well as reroute the cross connect between our OSP side of the rack to the ISP side of the rack. We also had to move the eight fibers that are terminated from our old which is LGX panel LGX, yep. to our FDH panel, uh, which is sturdy, great, great, uh, more compact, more compact. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Most definitely. So we were able to do all of this today. The home lab should be up and ready to go for future videos, future testing, uh, and future uh, equipment review. But before we wrap up, Irving, we just got one more little uh, enhancement to the rack in the lab that we should share with. Oh, you're audience. talking about that one. All right, all right. I think I think we should. All right, we should. time to light up the net. Time to light it up. <laughs> <laughs>